Hey, this is Chad Gleaves with EasyParentalControlTips.com, and I'm going to show you how to set up some limited uh, parental controls for your iOS device. It is free, and that's why I'm showing it to you because uh, at least it is some sort of protection for your kids. But this applies to iPod Touch, the iPhones, and the iPads. Um, all of them and it applies to iOS 6 okay so the iOS 7 is coming out in a month and we'll cover that then if there's any changes but right now we're talking about iOS 6 and so the way to set up those restrictions for your children to protect them to a degree go into settings and scroll down just a little bit here um, to general and then scroll down a little farther than you did before and go into restrictions and your should say off if not it may already be on and you'll have to put in that code and so if you haven't set it up before we'll enable uh, restrictions it's gonna ask you for a passcode here so this is just a generic one here real quick and so now we've set up a passcode the reason that's important to remember is if you go back and you go back into restrictions it's gonna ask you for that passcode again and of course you wouldn't want to let your children or anything know what that is so if you use something all the time with your kids use something different now what this does is the first part allows you to turn off certain things for example you can turn off safari now if you go back here you'll notice the second icon in that third row is safari so let's look at it again of course it's going to ask for my passcode and so i'm going to turn it off go back out look at it notice that Safari is gone it's not there anymore and there's an extra space on my home you know screen to show that it's missing and so we've turned off Safari and so that's what the first part of this does so you can turn off different programs and probably most of these programs should be turned off for younger children and something to note here is yes you can prevent people from installing apps or your children from s installing apps which I would think would be important and also deleting apps so you know my my children I have a two-year-old and she found out she could delete apps she ended up deleting all the apps off my iPad and that was a pain because I'd set it up with games and stuff like that but she thought it was fun to hit the little red uh, minuses and see it disappear she just thought it was another game so you might want to uh, take off some of that um, also note the explicit language in Siri uh, it does recognize explicit language and it also talks back and you might want to turn that off now this other part is allowed content and so you can go through here and set your ratings make sure it's United States if you're in the United States and you can go through and turn off the explicit for podcasts movies has a full range so you can set the you know I only want PG and above um, or PG and below and the same with the TV shows uh, same setup and then you can uh, there's ratings for apps and so you can set that restriction if you allow them to install their own apps you don't have to turn that part off and then you can turn off in-app purchases which you may want to do for your younger children scrolling down here the privacies really are not necessary you can go into that and look if you'd like um, and then allow changes on your account and all your volume control so if your kid is in the habit of turning up their volume too high on their music you can turn that down and just say don't allow volume control uh, to change the limit now I'm gonna go into that for a second because what does it do it doesn't really give you I don't understand you may be able to figure that out as far as I think wherever it's set now is you're gonna limit it which is weird that they don't give you a volume control inside there but the last thing has to do with game center and um, not really useful a whole lot so we'll continue on here so that's the basics of what restrictions can do for you uh, with your iPhone and or your iOS device and so that's one way that you can help uh, prevent your children from getting to something that they shouldn't get into. If you have another video you'd like me to cover or figure out on parental controls give me uh, a contact contact me on our Facebook page or on our web page at easyparentalcontroltips.com and just hit the contact chat.